For all the latest from the world of motoring, hit that subscribe button and stay connected. The TVS Apache RTR 204V is a huge improvement over the earlier Apaches, especially when it comes to refinement. Sabeg, who joins us today, is one of the first owners of the Apache 200 and brought home his machine in 2016, almost immediately after its launch. Hi Sabeg, good morning and it's great to have you here. So, the Apache RTR 200, in many ways for TVS, this is a new beginning. How did you zero on this machine? Yes, as you said, you know, it's, uh, it marks a you know, new beginning for TVS when they have done a lot of improvements. I don't the RTR 180 before. Oh, so you definitely know yeah. how different this machine exactly, is. Exactly, yeah. Right. I, it is completely different, trust me. That's uh, So the 180 was a used bike. It, okay. had, it had done its job, it you know had its fair share of problems. So I just wanted to give the Apache a new shot, you know, see what it's like to own a bike. You know, from fresh okay. of the factory, okay. um, and that was around the time when the 200 was launched. And I was following the news, reviews, everything. I instantly fell in love with the design. Uh, I think everyone agrees on that. It uh, definitely looks good. Yeah, yeah surely. And uh, in this paint scheme, especially, like, yes. called me biased. I think this looks best. It has especially a, in photographs. Yeah, <laughs> the grey one has a metallic look to it. Uh, Wanted to go for uh, red or yellow. Okay. Red they didn't have. Yellow was exclusively for the FI version. This is the carb one, by the way. Okay. Uh, did which, you consider any other bikes during this process? Uh, I did. I just I had also considered the Duke 200. Okay. Uh, problem was price difference was quite a bit, uh, okay. upwards of sixty thousand rupees. Okay. So that helped me back a bit. And uh, yeah, also you know Dukes have a bit of a reputation, okay. as we all know. Okay. So I, I'm, I was still a relatively new rider. I didn't want to, you know, have a bike which I couldn't handle. Okay. And yeah, Apache. I mean, it kind of grew on me. The 180 and all, and the 200 was a much improved version, right? So wanted to see what they've done with it. And yeah, then just you know, they said we have black, white, and grey. I knew black and white were going to be common, so I zeroed in on the grey one. Okay. And friends were like, you know, it's not that different from the 180. You'll get bored of it in two years and all that. It's been two years and I'm still not for it. Now, when it comes to the Apache 200's engine, you know, TVS has made a huge effort to make it more refined, which, which was its you know, uh, you know, it's you know, the dark cloud looming over its head. We have feedback from a lot of customers. So, how has your experience been with the new and improved engine? Yeah, rightly said. Uh, they've worked a lot on the engine, and uh, that's that was my first impression, right? Refinement. When I took the test ride of the bike, I started it. You know, went a few meters. I couldn't believe it was an Apache, right? Okay. The 180, 160, they're notorious for their vibrations. Uh, honestly, they didn't bother me much. I got used to them over time. But yeah, when you're cruising or you know you're touring or something, your hands do get numb and it's a bit yeah. irritating. Uh, the refinement, yes, definitely. But on this, there's no such issue. No, 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 none at all. Like okay. there are some mild vibrations when you push it at the top, but okay. that's to be expected. Single that's cylinder any, bike. Any yeah. single cylinder bike, yeah. And uh, that's the thing. I think it has, they've done their you know homework. They've researched a lot, taken a lot of feedback. Mm, four valves and oil cooling as well as the coated piston. I think all these things work together to make it a much more refined product. And uh, that's the thing. In the process of being refined, it has not lost its character. Okay, okay. It's still It's still fun. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, that Apache RTR racing throttle it response. Jumps around it's there, yeah. Even the city, then it must be a whole lot more fun. You know, just Definitely. It's uh, See, the 180, it was light. And I guess it had slightly more uh, low-end grunt. This is a bit more tuned for mid-range and higher up. Okay. And the 180, of course, was lighter. This, initially, I did feel a bit heavy because of the bars and the way they were positioned. 180 was much more compact, yeah? Okay. But once you get used to it, uh, this is a much more comfortable bike. And it's, you know, the best way to describe it is 
it's a multi talented bike it can do it all you know okay. you want to go through city traffic you want to do touring okay. you know take it on the highway or twisty roads race track even it does it all fantastic how, how is it how is it on the highway because a lot of people already know that it's very good in the city you right. know from signal to signal or stop and go traffic you know mm-hmm. it, it's fast yeah. but out of the highway there is a you know a talk going on about its cruising speed so what is your experience with that Okay so cruising speed depending on the conditions how you want to ride anywhere this can do like 80 to 100 all day no issues okay if there's no wind and you know you're fine everything it can do about 110 okay after that yeah wind blast does become a bit of an issue and uh, power also starts to you know go down a bit uh, But yeah, I think hundred, hundred and ten, it can do it comfortably so all day. So essentially, a very good uh, city bike and occasional yeah. touring machine. Definitely, it okay. can do it all. So and I think for our conditions, hundreds like the sweet spot for yes, cruising. Yes, definitely. So yeah, it 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 doesn't you know Feel struggle stressed. or okay. anything okay. effortless. And uh, what mileage are you getting out of the machine? Okay, so mileage yeah depends on how you ride as well. Uh, companies hasn't made any claim as such. uh whenever i spoke to the showroom guys they were like so you can expect 30 35 uh, the way i ride i'm getting around 28 to 33 you know okay. mix like depending on how i am with the throttle okay and yeah some of my friends have got around 35 40 as well so so depends on riding style but exactly. average 30 30 35 okay. like yeah somewhere there okay. also this is the bs3 one like uh, this was one of the initial bikes right when okay. i bought it and uh, the ps4 the updated and especially now the version 2 with slipper clutch and everything those those have improved a lot oh, in efficiency okay. so yeah i think that will give you a better mileage Now, so big uh, the Apache. You know, I don't even need to tell you that. You know, the, it's all about the handling. So, uh, tell us your experience on its handling and braking. Right after the raw power of the Apache, uh, what tells they're known for is definitely the handling. Compared to the 180, I'd say uh, this is just as agile, just as quick, if not yeah. quicker, but a lot more stable. The 180, uh, I used to be a bit scared sometimes. I never used to take corners. You know, I used to just ride normally. I didn't have that confidence uh, on this. You know, this is the first day I took a corner, and it was like, wow, the Instant. stability was <laughs> right there. You know, just what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Difference is night and day from the 180. The 180, it'll you know, it'll punish you. It'll t- you know, teach you in a very harsh way, right? Like mm-hmm. if you make a mistake, this is a lot more forgiving. Okay. It'll you know, guide you along. It'll stick to the line you take. It won't waver. Okay. Turn in is a bit, you know, just like the 180 bit too quick for some people. Okay. Uh, you think it just turns, but once you get used to it, it's fantastic. Like okay. the mono shock, the you know bigger wheel base, okay. fatter rear tire, they all work perfectly fine to give you that stability yeah, and. It's actually very very nimble, even in traffic for that matter. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, in traffic, you know, that's most people. when they get stuck in traffic they're like oh god uh, i can't do this but I, for me it's like you know fun okay now i'll just go through the cars it's it's, it's really fantastic you know 180 it was like that this with the added stability and all it's even better uh coming to the tires i'd say to get to know the full potential of this bike's handling capabilities you definitely need to switch to pirellis okay. the stock remoras are good enough and they're actually much better than what they had previously okay but uh, the perilles just you know bring out the true character of this bike you will i have ridden them you might have to sacrifice a bit of tire life but uh, and they are a bit expensive as well but definitely worth it okay. you know if and you, how much life do you get out of the stock tires stock tires uh, anywhere between 15 to 20000 kilometers depending okay. on how you ride perilles is also roughly the same uh, okay, okay. Uh, some people get less some people get more but uh, yeah it depends 15 on, 20 yeah. is the range And, and uh, uh, what about braking the whole setup yeah braking that is one thing i feel you know it could have improved the rear is fine okay bigger disc and all that and usually rear you don't use much as well most okay. of it is in the front 180 i feel had a better front brake the okay. so initial bite was uh, more than this okay. this is a lot more progressive i guess that has to do with the softer fork setup okay. you know they don't they don't want too much dive 
and uh, since yeah my bike was one of the initial uh, bikes which was okay. launched it had a few issues with the brakes and everything okay. but now they have sorted it out the new bs4 and the version 2 and all the new bikes the braking is on point okay. uh, some people still want a bit more bite and everything but i'd say you know you have to get used to it Okay. because too much bite isn't good first of all it like upset the fork and sometimes you know you lock up and something nasty might happen so, so essentially for road use it's absolutely it's fine. perfect yeah, yeah. but it's something like a track use maybe you track want to use, stiffen up the fork yeah maybe something. yeah you need to you know work on it a bit okay. but definitely they have improved they've okay. listened to feedback and uh, compared to this also i've got the updated parts and everything so now i'm happy with it okay. but uh, yeah compared to you know when i got it brand new it's way better, better. and uh, what about the overall riding position there is this uh, you know that uh, misconception or you know people think that the apache is usually have is cramped for taller riders right, uh, right. how's your experience here uh see 180 yes it did feel a bit cramped uh, you know the handlebar was very low and compact seat as well okay this no such issues uh, it is much more comfortable You know, I'm five ten, so it's fine for me. I okay. have friends who are six feet and a little over six feet. It's fine for them as well. Okay. It also matters how you sit on the bike. Most okay. of them, you know, sit very close to the tank, uh, okay. and it creates a bit of an imbalance. They need to, you know, scoot back a bit, grip it with their knees, you know, okay. keep their hands relaxed, yeah. and they'll be fine. Okay. Uh, otherwise. I don't think that should be an issue. Like it also depends like, how you're built, right? If you're a bit of heavy guy, and <laughs> it could be a problem. You could get weight on your wrist. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Now, no, uh, owning a bike in India. It, it's the most important thing. In fact, owning a bike in general, the most important thing is you know what service and support you get. How has your experience been with the TV service centers, or you know do you go go to your trusted mechanic? Yeah, service is a very important part of owning the bike, and uh, a lot of people have this misconception, especially about TVs, that uh, their service isn't that great. Okay. Uh, see, I'll just tell you about the general things they offer. The standard warranty is two years plus three years extended, okay. so it's five years. I don't think anyone else offers that. Okay. And uh, you get five free services in the first year or so. And of course, uh, they keep having you know all these uh, promotional offers, and you have AMC as well, where you okay. can you know do an annual package, you'll get discounts. Okay. Service for me, uh, a general service cost is around thousand five hundred to two thousand, depending okay. on what has to be changed and what not. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's less than that sometimes more and i would say service is good right the thing people need to understand is as a customer you also need to take an initiative if you really care about your bike you can't mm -hmm. just walk into the dealership drop it there and expect them to solve everything okay. because they get a lot of bikes yeah every day not mm -hmm. just bikes they have scooters mopeds as well they have a wide variety of products and they can't sit and you know analyze each and every product and make sure it's done You need to give them time. You okay. need to have a you know good relationship with the manager. Communicate properly. Understand what's wrong with the part. What needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. or, you know, maybe. And also, a lot of people don't do maintenance. They just ride the bike. Okay, service indicators on. Go drop it for service. They don't understand that service is an ongoing process. You know, okay. you take care of your bike every single day. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to loop the chain uh, every 500 or so kilometers. You must get it washed. You know. Uh, again too much care is also bad you get it washed too frequently uh, yeah. you you start getting yeah. rust spots here and there and it will ruin the paint Since you lose a clear coat also Pre pretty much yeah. and uh, yeah of course specifically matte colors you know it's better you don't wash too often because they start using polish and all it becomes glossy over time so it ruins the purpose altogether yeah. now service so uh, i would say you know tvs have improved a lot compared to before and uh, they have won a lot of awards as well for customer satisfaction so i guess they're better than other manufacturers people and also now the branding team and everyone they've on social media especially they've become a lot more involved so okay. if anyone has issues you raise it with them they get back to you immediately okay so service is not an issue for me and uh, i think at least till the warranty period i will continue giving it at tvs itself okay. and uh, maybe uh, you know if i'm happy even after that i'll continue okay.
So essentially now owning a TVS is you now it's 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 much more simpler and a good experience. Definitely, yeah. They say their service is trust value service, and I think they live up to that. Now you own this bike for two years, and it's almost thirty thousand kilometers. Yes. Not mistaken. So you now know, you know, you're in very good position to tell people, you know, how the, you know, what parts, you know, uh, you need to change, or you know, what changes you need to make on the bike to make the ownership experience better. So, please tell us. Yeah. So coming to the modifications I've done to the bike, uh, it's pretty much stock. I have left it untouched. Uh, you can see the fly screen is new. Now all the bikes come with it anyway. Okay. This was not there before. Uh, for people who are interested in getting this, I would suggest go for it. Uh, mm -hmm. It completes the look. You know the console; it kind of looks mm -hmm. incomplete. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, when you're crouched down as well, I mean it's not that big, but it does make a difference aerodynamically. Okay. Uh, it's about two fifty odd rupees. You can just fit it yourself. Uh, now. The brakes also, as I mentioned, you know, I got the updated part. Now, okay. again, if people who are aren't happy with it, who have the you know 2016 version, yeah. you can talk with your service center, get it done. Okay. Uh, another thing I would suggest is maybe the headlight. Okay. Like, you know, you don't have to get LEDs or HIDs or anything. Just the standard one, but just switch to you know something by Philips or something. Okay. Because the high beam is all right, but low beam it's not that satisfying. And when you're going at speeds on the highway at night time, you need you know better lighting. So I would suggest go with the Philips. Uh, same H4, 55-60 watt. You don't have to change with that. Okay. That's a white light, and I think it goes with the DRLs as well, right? So another thing I would suggest is uh, maybe tank pads. Now this is a matte bike, but over the years uh, it's become glossy. Okay. Right. Uh, and of course, while moving around it. You know, helps you grip the tank better. better. Okay. I I do slip and slide a lot. I have to constantly adjust my position. And now that we're talking about slip and slide, right? <laughs> uh, are you planning to get the slipper clutch? And is it a direct fit? Huh. Now that is one question a lot of people have. And okay. yes, it is a direct fit. Uh, it will cost you around two thousand odd rupees. Okay. Uh, okay. Slipper clutch is you know a lot of people think okay bro will something happen this that no it's 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 direct you know no issues nothing you just mm -hmm. have to change the clutch assembly with the clutch plates and all that. Okay. Uh, I personally I'm still not you know satisfied with it. I feel the stock is good enough. Okay. Maybe in the future when I you know completely start modifying the bike I'll go with the stripper and when I start doing more track days and stuff. Okay. Uh, again. Other changes, I would say, yeah, braking. Even after changing this, if you're not satisfied, you know, maybe you can go with uh, dot four brake fluid. This is dot three. Okay. And still not satisfied, you can switch to steel braided lines, front and back, for better feedback. Okay. And one thing for sure you need to change, I would say, is the engine oil. Yeah. Okay. The stock TVS engine oil, it's not that great. Doesn't last long, and you know, for the performance this bike offers, it, they can, you know, it deserves more. Okay. Uh, most of the service centers they'll void your warranty if you switch to something else. But uh, at, if you know the manager well and you know you communicate with him, I think that won't be an issue. Okay. So, so big, lovely feedback. I'm sure it'll help a lot of people looking to know more about this bike. So, uh, first of all, one key question. I'm sorry. Finally, one key question uh, uh, we missed out is why did you choose the carb version over the F5? Okay, so see, basically, when I bought it, I had no choice. Only the carb was out. Right now, F5 is out. So yeah, uh, it's good that you brought that up. A lot of people have that question. Uh, the F5 it will give you, you know, better mileage, slightly more performance, and okay. it's a bit more smoother as well. Okay. But uh, you know, personally, I feel they should have just launched the FI version, but you know, it's okay. They've given us a choice, and I would suggest if you have the money, you don't mind it, go for the FI. Good, but otherwise, the carb is good enough because, firstly, FI systems they don't go wrong usually. They're quite reliable, but if they do, it gets quite expensive. You have to change the fuel pump and everything. And in the past as well, a lot of people had this issue with the 160 FI, the old one. Okay. Uh, 
parts weren't available so they converted it to the carb okay uh, again something happens to the bike you have to take it to the service center with a carb you know any roadside mechanic can help you out okay. and uh, also I, i've written the fi i feel you know the rtr uh, feel right that instant performance a carb has more of that right okay. low down and in initial okay. fi is much more linear okay. but uh, top speed and overall performance is better on that okay and i feel the price isn't justified right like right now you have the option between either abs or fi there's no both okay. i would suggest go for abs any day that will save your life the minor difference which fi will give you you won't feel it and for the money or saving you can you know get more petrol as well like go riding <laughs> yeah definitely coming to riding i would say uh, yes tvs have you know given a lot of support to us apache owners especially okay. i have attended uh, two track days one was in bangalore itself it was for all the apache owners you know get your bike it was uh, you know just basics of racing they would teach you the second one was in chennai that that was a full fledged racing school i got a level 1 certificate from there okay. and uh, of course then they took us to the mysore factory visit right as well so all these things which they do for the customer right adds up no, it no. adds up to the value definitely you feel a part of a brotherhood you feel that okay the company cares about you it's not just okay you bought the product done right yeah. there they continuously you know make sure that you're satisfied right you're and it's like a family basically it's not like okay we are uh, a company you you guys are customers it's not like that at all a lot of people they still don't service their bikes at the service station but you know if they have issues they still get it fixed for them like that goodwill is there okay and uh, so once you're in the tvs family you're it's set. yeah you're <laughs> set for life it's basically and it is uh, tvs racing uh, definitely it's not just tvs it's tvs racing The Apache is, uh, you know, they're a different breed. They're not like your usual bikes, and it shows the way the people interact with you, the way they, you know, make sure your experience is all fine. The rides, the racing programs, everything—it's been fantastic so far. And uh, yeah, I, you know, a lot of people feel that brands should do more activities and everything, and that this is definitely a step in the right direction. So guys the Apache RTR 204V is a true Apache and takes the game forward by being an even more fun motorcycle. Thank you for watching and please do hit that subscribe button.